My name is Lauren and this is Orderly Conduct. All right, so let's hop into it. As you can see, one of the major changes that happened in the past week is I got braces. So if you see my lips moving a little bit extra, it's because I'm still trying to figure out how to speak and talk around the brackets, okay? So bear with me. But um, as I mentioned, um, the past couple weeks have been just a little bit overwhelming with um, kids and different changes in their schedules and different changes in my schedule. And if you're a parent, you know exactly what this feels like. So I really wanted to hop in and um, talk about mental health as it relates to organizing. This is such a valuable and important topic when we're, talk when we're discussing organizing. So I found that mental health is primarily the reason that people become or disorganized and cluttered in their spaces in the first place. So I think it's an important topic um, to discuss. So we're going to talk about what clutter does to your mind and how to kind of start by unraveling some things in your head to kind of get you to a place where you can start decluttering your space and decluttering your home. So I did a little research and I found an article that I'd like to um, quote and kind of reference in this video. Um, I think this quote kind of targets exactly what I mean. Um, in the quote, the author stated that clutter and messes or the condition of your space is a visual reflection of your mental state. And I couldn't have said it better. I think that um, from my experience going into someone's home, I immediately know if they've been overwhelmed, if they've been stressed out just based on the condition of their house. And I know for sure, just speaking for myself, when I'm overwhelmed and when I'm busy and when there's so many things happening and going on in my head, it's really hard for me to maintain a tidy environment at home. So I couldn't have said it better. I think that that is like, it nails exactly what happens when people start to see clutter pile up in their space. So now let's talk more specifically about how clutter affects your mind. So this um, next point is something that I actually heard for the first time. It actually taught me something while I was researching this topic, but clutter can actually lead to coping mechanisms um, triggering a state of mental avoidance. And a lot of times people are not realizing that they're subconsciously in a state of avoidance. A state of avoidance can actually lead to binge eating and poor daily habits. If you're noticing maybe you're eating a lot of junk food or you're just watching more TV than usual, then I think that that is a good time to determine, are you in a place or a state of avoidance? Is there something that you're trying to avoid acknowledging? Um, a lot of times when people have a um, mass amount of papers or clothes or things lying around their house, it can become stressful um, and you enter into this coping mecha mechanism where you try to like avoid it by doing something else. So that was something that I learned. It's something that I know to now keep track of in my own space my own space in my own home like if I feel like I'm picking up poor habits or I feel like I'm binge eating or I notice myself watching more TV I'm gonna kind of reflect on what's going on that I might be trying to avoid or is there anything that's causing stress in my immediate environment that my mind is trying to avoid that's why it is so important to take time out of your day and get to a place where you're able to declutter and address the problem so one of the things I think I really need to work on personally is making checklists. Sometimes I think that I can just keep everything in my head and I can just remember everything and everything will get done and I'll be fine. But it does not work like that. <laughs> so um, it's one area of opportunity for myself. I notice if I'm writing things down, if I'm making a checklist, then it keeps me from having to be stressed out about, oh, what do I have to do next? And oh my gosh, I forgot to do something. Another thing you can probably put into uh, practice is a daily schedule. If you write down three main things that you have to do that day um, and check it off, you can visually see tasks getting done. You can visually um, acknowledge, hey, my day was productive. And it kind of makes you feel better about um, getting rid of those things that you have to do, that mental to-do list. Um, so that's, that's something that also really helped me out is just making a daily schedule. 
After you free up some mental space, you can now start thinking about decluttering your physical space. So the next thing you wanna hop right into without further delay is eliminating things that are stressing you out in your physical space. Determine if the things that you're seeing pile up, if it's mail on the counter, if it's keys, if it's clothes that hasn't been folded? Is it um, just things just happening in your house that you just can't seem to get a handle of? Is it is it something that you need? Do you have way too many clothes and maybe that's why you're not able to get through laundry day all in one um, one day? Or do you, are, do you have way too much mail? Do you need to shred your mail? Do you need to go through it and organize? I think kind of determining where to start um, eliminating the stress factor that you can see in your house is another important step to making sure that your mental state is healthy. Another thing to remember if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed and you're feeling like you just can't handle your space right now is to take it one step at a time. Maybe start eliminating just one thing that's been causing stress in your environment at a time. Don't try to do your whole house at one time if you feel that it might be overwhelming. Um, I think by putting yourself in the habit of making checklists and making daily schedule, you start to build healthier routines, which can create over time a more organized space. So if you start a little bit at a time, maybe one week at a time by tackling your papers or tackling the eliminating unneeded clothes or um, to make your laundry pile smaller or just eliminating unneeded things around the house maybe one week at a time you will gradually start seeing your environment change so that's all for today I just wanted to come in and check in with you all to let you know I haven't forgot about you I know it's been a full week since I've uploaded a video but thank you so much for subscribing and tuning in um, I really want to challenge you to go back and check out the most recent video that I posted right before this where um, I went in and gave my visual reviews of the container store and the at-home store um, this is something that I did on my journey to preparing for a upcoming project I I have um, so if you are interested in learning more about things that you can um, use to help keep organization in your home and where to even go um, for those things then that is a really great video to watch thanks again for tuning in and until next week